guys, welcome to Flushing House Television, FHTV. This is episode number 51. Uh, we're here today with Chef Mohamed Ture, executive chef for Flushing House. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is a three course meal. We're going to be doing a salad, an entree, and a dessert. And Mohamed, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're going to be seeing today? Well, today what we're trying to do is we try to make not only about me, but also with the residents. And we invited a, another chef, which is a guest chef, in the building. He, he hung up his coat as a chef, but I tried to bring that out of him today so he could cook today for the residents. And his name is Matt Ferris. He's a food service director. Let's welcome him one more time. Matt Ferris. Mr. Matt. Mr. Matt Ferris. <laughs> hey, folks. How are you doing? Welcome, Pleasure welcome. to be here. We're going to do a little cooking class for you today. Uh, one of our residents, Leonard Benjamin, won a, uh, I guess, a raffle, is it? Yeah, yeah. We did a staff and, uh, auction to raise money for our Drum Up Some Money campaign to raise money to buy a drum set for our Flushing House band. And uh, one of the staff members that was auctioned is this fine gentleman right here, Matthew Ferris. So we're gonna do a little cooking class. We're gonna throw out a, a little Asian salad. Uh, after that, we're gonna do a uh, pasta saute with some nice seafood and local fresh vegetables, which we picked from our own garden today. And then we'll finish it up with a little classic dessert, Bananas Foster. So I'm gonna see if I can still remember how to cook. If I don't, I got this guy to bail me out. Life is good. Sounds great, let's jump right in. All right, thank you. All right, gang, welcome. Uh, congratulations to Len for winning our uh, raffle for a cooking class here on the rooftop. He brought all his guests, and it's a pleasure to be here with all of you. Um, we're going to start off today with a nice salad. It's an Asian salad. Uh, we have some uh, mixed greens that we got at the marketplace. Um, it's a 50-50 blend of baby spinach and spring vegetables, which we've just rinsed off. And this is basically shoots of broccoli, cabbage, and carrots. Um, very little is going into this, but it doesn't need a whole lot. You're going to have a little bit of olive oil, sesame oil, and this, which you can get at any market. It's called T. Manzetti Salad Accents. This one here is an Asian one. It has almonds and little bits of sesame noodles in it, and it's a really nice topping for the end of the salad. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our greens, and we're going to put them in a bowl here. In here there's a, a mix of radicchio, baby arugula, spinach, and I think that's about it. Three different greens. Okay. Into that, we're going to add in broccoli, cabbage, and carrots. I'm going to take a squeeze of fresh lemon, about a, maybe a half a lemon, maybe a third of a lemon. I'm going to use a spoon that has little slots so the seeds don't go in there. So we're going to squeeze the lemon. We're going to squeeze a fresh lemon juice on there. We're going to put a drizzle of olive oil. We got a, a nice olive oil from Tuscany, Italy. Put a little drizzle of that on there. And then not much of it because it's a strong and a pretty, you know, well flavored oil, but a sesame oil. And this is a dark sesame oil. They have a light one which has very little flavor. But the dark sesame oil has a lot more flavor, so that's what we're going to use for this. And just a little drizzle of it over the top is all you need because it has a lot of flavor. So that mixed with the olive oil will be nice. We're going to toss it around a bit. Mix them all together. Nice fresh salad. It's a great way to start a meal. Yes. I went to Tuscany one time and uh, Basically, there were so many meals where it was just the salad and the bread, and it was pretty much all you needed because there were so many good things there. But we're mixing that all together. I'm going to add a little bit more of the broccoli and the carrots in there. Mix it through. Now the last thing I'm going to put in there, and it is good, I think it's nice to toss it through and get a little flavor, rather than just putting it on the top, is the topic we talk about. And again, it's an Asian sesame topping that you can get it in, I've got it at King Cullen, you can get it at uh, Pathmark, Pathmark, any store like that. So we're going to toss that around in there, and we're going to mix that through. And what it's going to do is add a nice flavor and a nice crunch to your salad. It's going to be delicious. Would anybody like a nice slice of uh, tomato from my, this is from my garden, they're yellow tomatoes, they're low in acid, they're a lot less acidic than most of the other tomatoes that you grow. All right, folks, how was the salad? Everybody okay with the salad? Delicious, very good. Good, I'm glad you liked it. The um, next thing we're going to do, I have my chef Muhammad with me, um, my training wheels. Um, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna prepare a nice seafood dish for you. We're going to saute some pasta. We have Campanelli pasta, 
which is one of my favorites. Uh, we're going to put it into a pan with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to saute it with a little bit of a seafood stock. We have shrimp, we have lobster, we have scallops. Again, I got some tomatoes which I picked from the garden this morning. Some zucchini, which we grilled downstairs, also picked from the garden this morning. So it's fresh stuff. Uh, we know you're going to love it, so we're going to go at it. See if you can keep up there, buddy. I'll try, buddy. All right. I'll, I'll follow your lead. <laughs> whatever you do, I do. All right. I'll do whatever you do. I do this first. A little onion and a little garlic. Always afraid of a little garlic, right? I'll we'll save some for my friend over here. Okay, I'll take the rest. All right, then your leftovers. Two left-handed chefs. Watch out, everybody. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to throw a little seafood in there with it. Some bay scallops. Some lobster, which was flopping on our table this morning. Live. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And some shrimp. We have some nice large uh, shrimp here. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm going to saute those around for a little bit and let them start to cook. This smells so good. On the wrong side of the table. Okay, All right. I'm gonna pop some of those fresh tomatoes in there. Those are some Roma pork Again, tomatoes. Again, leftovers. Look at the color of those tomatoes. Look how bright those are. Right from the garden. I picked them in the dark this morning, but I know where to find them because <laughs> I know the garden that well. Fresh basil, also from the garden. Thank you, sir. Yes. A little parsley. Because why not? Awesome. And the last thing we're going to put in here is a little bit of fish stock before the pasta. And a little splash of white wine. For this one, we're using a little Sauvignon Blanc, but you could use any white wine. You don't have to be that, that picky. And now we're going to throw in some pasta. save some for you. Okay, I'll take your leftovers go. again. <laughs> all right. Toss that all around, get all the flavor in the pasta. Not much seasoning here, just the fresh basil. Gonna put a little splash of salt and pepper, not much. Do the honors. Salt, have salt and pepper in one shaker, just to make life more convenient and easy for us. <laughs> one last thing to forget. And we're going to add those to the pasta, because they're pretty much already cooked, but we just want to get them in here and heat them up for the last part of it. Is any, everybody okay with cheese? A little Parmesan cheese? Okay. I'm going to put a little shake of that on there. That's the last thing we're going to do. Mm. And then we're going to toss it around, and more importantly, serve it to you so you can eat it. We're going to take some bananas and uh, we're going to do a little dish called Bananas Foster. Um, it's very simple. We just take a little bit of butter and uh, saute some bananas in it. We're going to add a little uh, brown sugar, which has a pinch of cinnamon in it, and then a little cream and a banana liqueur. Okay. What we've done is we've taken a little bit of pound cake and we've cubed it up and put it in these wine glasses here. So we're going to, we're going to put the Bananas Foster in there once we've done it. Um, you can also serve this over ice cream. A lot of people serve it over vanilla ice cream. Yes. Um, you know, so it's, there's a lot of different things you can do to it. But we're going to start off, we're going to take a little bit of butter. So we're going to put that in the pan. Oops. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get a little. We're going to cut them up one, two, three. While our butter's melting, we're going to cut up the bananas. two at a time to show off a little bit there, ready? Again. We got some nice ripe bananas, don't be afraid, as long as the fruit is good, which you see these are, you can make sure you get some good, nice, ripe bananas, because if they're not ripe, the poison of the bananas is going to come out. So, we have butter going. We're going to take half these bananas, I'm going to save half for Muhammad on his side. We're going to take the bananas, and we're just going to saute them around a little bit in the fire. Have 
Anybody ever had this before? Yes. You've had it before? New Orleans, I've had it. Where? New Orleans. In New Orleans? Uh oh. We gotta put a little uh We're gonna make sure we make Emma Legacy proud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? Some guy. I used to go bam. Bam. Bam bam. Alright, we're still gonna cook them down a little bit more. They still need to come down. They're gonna start to get a little soft. And they're going to start to release a little bit of juice and they're going to start to, that banana flavor is going to start to come out. Um, at this point I'm going to take a little bit of the brown sugar, it has a little cinnamon in there. And I'm going to add that in there. Okay, I lied, it's not a little bit of brown sugar. A good bit of brown sugar. Right, now we have a fun part. Ready gang? I'm going to add a little bit of uh, banana liqueur. Get a little bit of fire there. You can see a little bit of fire in the pan, sir, for you. And we're going to cook it down. So basically, when we cook it out, you see the fire come up. All of the alcohol burns up. So you're left with the flavor of the liqueur. Not the alcohol. Basically, you're making a, a syrup. The hot pan caramelizes, makes a sauce. And the last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of cream. Okay. Sure. We add the cream. Toss that around. And we'll incorporate it into one happy little sauce. sugar-free. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you it was zero calories? <laughs> no, it's not that either. But it's really good. That much we can probably sure. So okay. <laughs> How are we doing, Chef? We're doing great. Everything is coming around fine. Just follow your lead, brother. Okay, enjoy. Well, bananas foster, flushing house style. 